How's it going guys? My name is Dom and today I want to talk about the placeholder pseudo element in CSS. So the placeholder pseudo element allows you to change the appearance or the styles of an input field when it has no text inside it and the placeholder attribute is applied on the actual element. So let's just see with an example. Um, I've got this HTML page right here, looks like this in the browser. Now, in the HTML, I'm actually just going to create a new input element all right, with type text. And then I'm going to have the placeholder attribute here that will basically um, have, have text in the input box when there is no text inserted. So for example, let's just say um, it will be enter your username. Okay, so now if I was to save this and refresh the browser, inside here we get um, the loads. Let's try it again. There we are. So enter your username right there. So that is the placeholder text. Now, using CSS, you're actually able to change the um, the styling of that text using this pseudo element. So back inside the HTML, let's create. A style tag and start playing with colon colon placeholder all right so now inside here you can actually put um, some styling for the input field actually you know what you have to put input in front of that so you're saying the placeholder for um, the input selector all right inside here let's put some styles for example let's just say color is equal to or has the value of red so saving this and refreshing the browser gives us the loads red so red placeholder text now only a um, a certain subset of CSS properties can be used for this pseudo element. Um, some examples might be color. You might use a, um, a background color. Let's just say we'll go for like a dark gray and also maybe a font style of italic. Okay, saving this and refreshing gives us um, that result right there. So you can see how it actually changes. If I was to go inside here and um, start typing, it goes away. So it only appears when the placeholder text is actually visible. All right. Now to ensure maximum uh, maximum compatibility across Firefox, you actually want to um, repeat this rule again and just put, um, I believe it's dash moz and then dash in front of that. So I'll just confirm that um, dash moz. Yep. So dash moz dash placeholder to ensure maximum compatibility with Mozilla Firefox. All right. And that's how you can use the placeholder pseudo element in CSS. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later.